It's back to wearing street clothes for Sherman Jackson II. Instead of jail, the Oxford taxi driver will be on house arrest. Jackson is accused of raping two clients last month, both Miami students, who called Jackson for a ride after a night of drinking. He was arrested, released on bond, then rearrested. After allegations, he violated a condition of his bond by riding in the passenger seat of his cab. Today, Oxford police admitted that was just hearsay. They were unsure of exactly where they had heard it and could not uh, give us a lead anywhere else. No evidence, no violation. But Judge Keith Spaeth did express disappointment in other reported behavior by Jackson while out on bond. I have some concern with, the, with him um, sending unsolicited texts, uh, especially to college students. That's part of what has created that hysteria. Uh, that the Oxford Police Department was receiving. Prosecutors say one member of a Miami sorority had to block Jackson's number from her phone. Prosecutors say he texted her, Happy New Year's. How are you and your boyfriend doing? FYI, those females are lying on me. I didn't do that, what the media said. I'm not that kind of person. Investigators say Jackson also acted inappropriately toward women at two local restaurants. Patterson's Cafe and Bob Evans, reportedly telling one young woman, I hope you're 18. And employees at Anytime Fitness in Oxford complained that Jackson made women there feel uncomfortable and referred to women as eye candy. And Judge Spaeth did add to Jackson's restrictions. Uh, he will have to live with his parents in their house in Oxford. And although he won't be allowed to operate a cab, he can still work doing landscaping and snow removal. Reporting live in Hamilton tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.